What's up guys? My name is Justin Arnold and I am the developer of Snitch's Prison Simulator and this is the vlog for Snitch's Prison Simulator and I'm Justin and here's an intro What's up? I can bind them? Can I steal that? Um, hello. How are you today? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. There's like a little tiny fly flying around. Is this thing focusing on my face? <coughs> we'll just talk. Be normal. Not looking at a dead-eyed lens who is ready to do a vlog sorry it's taking some time um i was working on um character interaction the capacity of fighting and stuff of that nature and decided that i was going to detour off into making uh, the the main menu ui um can't really oh yeah that's why um because i wanted to check and see how how the game was going to play on other people's uh computers see essentially what i'm doing now is trying to make it play the best it possibly can on my computer um i did start making this game on a much less strong graphically capable computer uh, so, at those times, at those times, at that time, I um, paid a lot of attention to optimization. So I spent a good amount of time, um, probably six months, really figuring out the best way to optimize things and get scenes to run really well. Um, and my goal is to make sure that that can happen for you guys. Um, so the better I optimize it, the less you're going to have to adjust that resolution or the effects or textures or shadows or whatever, you know, all the settings that are in the UI. And that's super important to me because I know it's super important to you. Uh, one of the main questions that most people are going to ask or wonder about on new games is what is what do I need to have in my computer to get this to run? And so I want to make it to where it's going to, you know, run really well um, on just about anyone's computer. <clears throat> you know, well, anyone's semi-newer computer. It's a really, you know, broad variable. It's like saying this will work in anyone's car. Um, I can't say that, but I'm going to try to make it to where it will. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So uh, don't try to get out like your dad's computer from 20 years ago and try to play this on there. It's not going to work. Um, so, um, you know, but still in that same capacity, I want to get it to where it will work um, really decently across the board. Sorry for itching my nose. We're going to go over main menu UI, main menu UI main menu which is a 3d environment i did want to do this uh, for the game and finally decided you know it won't take long uh, for me to do and probably uh, what four days later um i'm still not done with it yeah yeah pretty much i i i'm liking some of it not a huge fan of some of the fonts uh, or yeah, um, uh, which is a time-consuming process uh, for me specifically because I want to judge each font like it's on trial. How do you make me feel? Font. 
it's super intense you know it, re it really is and I hope you don't have to go through it because it's it's something else but then just how everything kind of looks how it feels um, I haven't really gone into adjusting the the look of the UI in um, further areas of the uh, UI the fonts in the UI uh, because that's again just a time of uh, sitting back and trying to make it look pretty right now it's functionality you know getting in resolutions and um, graphical settings and options of windowed and blah 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 but this thing's got all kinds of options um, <clears throat> and uh, options that probably won't even be in the demo but will be in the game and will be ready to use for the game such as like save systems I'm probably not going to do that uh, for the demo um, but anyways uh, yeah my name is Justin Arnold and I will be your guide on this uh, Snitches Prison Simulator vlog uh, because there's no one else here. Um, it's just me. So, uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, shout out to everybody on YouTube. You guys are awesome. Uh, shout out to everybody in the group. Uh, you guys are more awesome. Just, just don't tell the YouTube people. So I'll get mad. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm really killing it on YouTube. But now I'm like, I don't even know, like 30 followers. Is that even a thing? Is it a follower? No, subscribers. 30 subscribers. So if you're new uh, to the channel, um, please, as a YouTuber, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, if you're in the group, the Facebook group, uh, if you have not liked and subscribed, um, I'm, I'm, uh, gonna put a honey bun hit out on you. No, that sounds bad. Um, I, uh, I am extremely, extremely disappointed. Uh, you know, I thought we were closer than that. Um, and I want you to immediately... Just go on to your, you know, brother or sisters or, you know, mom or dad's YouTube account and just open up, you know, Snitches Prison Simulator Vlog and subscribe on their page. I won't tell them. They don't have to know. <laughs> Be between you and me. All right. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, um, really needing people to be knowing about the game since the thing is all this takes time and I feel like when the game is ready um, people being interested won't be an issue I know that sounds strange but uh, I'd rather spend the time making the game awesome to then spend time later on of sharing it more and gathering more people and doing more vlogs like a daily vlog or something like that but um, at the moment, I can't do that. You know, I'm trying to do this game. I also have a job and a family and kids. And uh, I need to, uh, you know, really try to get the game out and then worry about that at a later date. Not push it all to the end because obviously here I am doing some aspect of marketing. And I stay on the Facebook group page quite often, try to keep up with it and say hello to all the new members and things of that nature and engage them you know in conversation and and uh you know be thankful you know that they're there it, it doesn't uh uh it uh yeah but anyways that's enough of this all right recording Start and we are recording. All right, so here <coughs> is our main menu 3D uh, menu. Now, our resolution or FPS is going to be lower because I'm recording at the moment. Uh, but, anyways, uh, let's jump in and just play it real quick. You know what I will do? I will 
let's turn off our FPS and we'll at least bring this down and this over and this over at least get the biggest picture we can and here we go so here is our main menu uh, in a 3D environment with our day night cycle see the lights just kind of came on there When the sun comes back up, <coughs> and we do it all over again. Like I said before, this is our uh, death row yard. Um, so not super fun of a place uh, to be. Your pretty much only view is prison aspects in the sky. Um, so that's not really very fun. Um, but anyways, uh, we've got some issues that we're going to fix right now. If you can see some of the lights, um, they just stay on. Then I have lights over here that don't even have lights. Um, so we're going to add lights to that. Um, and then we're going to uh, also, well first we're going to make the blueprint that's going to control these things to come on and off just like that light just went off right there. So we're going to trigger these lights and these lights all at the same time as this one here. Um, because they shouldn't be on. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to stop it. And we're going to first, let's go with, let's do a search for a, a light, or we'll say lamp, because that's what I'm using. Um, and we're going to quickly adjust a lamp here. Let's see. Light. I don't want to use that one. So we're going to use um, <coughs> this one here. And what we're going to do is send it out to Blender real quick and adjust it. Whoops. I mean to do that. Set actions, export, lamp 2 to there, save, export. We're going to open up Blender. Oops. And now we're going to import FBX, which I put on D, which is Tunnel Lamp 2. Here we go. Import. And so now we have our lamp. And what we're going to do. So we're going to get rid of these LODs, because that's what that is. There is a LOD here. And delete that one. And then we'll push this back over here. I'm going to hit uh, Tab to change into Edit Mode. And then we're going to hit A to deselect everything. And I'm going to then hit Z to make it transparent. And then I'm going to hit C to bring it to the selector, which you can then do that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put it on faces. Uh, see, these are for vertices of vertex. And then for your edge selection. And on this, we're going to do faces. And I'm just going to bring it up as close as I can to there. Delete. We'll say faces. Uh, we still have a little bit of residual there. Let's see. And delete faces. And then we'll 
We'll actually do this, and that will kill off the rest of it. All right, and the reason I did that is because I don't like the cord, cord, that encased cable or cord there for power um, for the light for a couple different reasons. Um, so then we're going to export this out uh, back to D. Uh, uh, we'll say light no cord uh, FBX. Reason why is it's just something else you could damage in prison. So sure you could damage the light, but having just a wire out there, meh, not so much. So we're going to uh, import that light. Go down to it. Light no cord. Open. Import. OK. We're going to open it. I'm going to go lamp and pull its material, which is. I don't know if it's this one or not. Let's see. No, that is not it. It's not that one. Oh, that's interesting. Let's make weird parts go. Uh, what we'll do is this is a shared uh, material. Is paste it right there. All right. So now it's good to go. And what we're going to need to do is lamp whoops light we're going to make a duplication of this so we're going to say duplicate we're going to change this one here come on there we go and we'll say it's lit bro and then we're going to say, well, they just swapped on me. Oops. Mm, not lit. So we're going to take this one and we're going to want to see our material. So we're going to say, Tunnel. There's an instance. We're going to uh, create another material instance. And we will take this one. And this is lit. And then we're going to go um, so we got instance instance. Instance 2 instant. So white or we could say lit. No cord lit, not lit. So we need not lit. And then we need that material instance. And the material instance is going to allow us to adjust it and not the um, not the master of it. So here's this. So we can then take this and go there. I want to open this up. Drop it down so we can see. And let's go with our emissive see what happens here by just taking the emissive off. Hopefully that'll just stop us from having the glowing aspect here and it to or this one see it's black so that's not going to work. Um, let's see what we could do is let's go back to add emissive. Here's our emissive. We're going to drop this 
the missive stir down. And there's our missive color. And we'll pull it into something like this. So that's off. This is instance, instance. And this is instance, instance. Uh, it's two, yeah, instance, instance. So they're both the same. I don't want that. We can do this as that one and that as this one. Um, and we could still bring it stir down even more, which does not work really. Okay, add vertex, add Fresnel. See, that's still going to be lit. Add a miss blinking. That's going to be the whole thing. I don't want to do that. Dirt stir. Metal color. Dirt, 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 dirt. Really, our easier way of doing this would be just swapping out the face of the light. So if I were to do that, then I could go back into Blender and go C, no, let's go Z, C. Now what we're going to do is exactly that. I'm going to say C, we'll go Faces C. Well. Try not to take forever on this, guys, so maybe I just need to slow down a moment here. <coughs> and see, dur, 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 dur. that's good, there, there. And this is going to give us a better control option because that material isn't expecting for us to want it to not be emissive. It just thinks you're going to want it on all the time. And <coughs> that is still going to look like it's glowing at night and I don't want that. So we're going to hit P and we're going to make that a separate selection now. And then we can export this whole thing out. Uh, no cord. We'll say, and separated face. Export. Okay. We'll go back into here. And we need to change some things. So, <clears throat> first, let's import our new light, uh, which was light with separated face import all okay it's going to bring in two different pieces all right so now what we can do is we can take <coughs> this and we can take this we'll say uh we'll say we'll just copy this copy run over here, punch it on the here, paste. This one we can open and we can um, duplicate it and then we're going to paste that onto there. So now we have the lit version of that and then on this one we're going to take this same material I have here and we'll search it globe 
that glue off <coughs> you know, we'll record lit don't need this so there's that and this so this one's separated and we'll just do it like that and we can also, oh that shines pretty shiny so we'll leave that like that we can adjust that at a later date <coughs> or maybe even today, I don't know um, so then we're going to go back to light no cord and on this one we're going to add this light. So copy <coughs> excuse me, and paste. So now I have a lit and unlit. Lit, unlit. Lit, okay. So what we're going to do, and I had this on too. I messed up that log, but whatever. It's far enough. Alright, so we got all these no cord. We're going to do no cord light no cord lit face. And we'll say light Cord not lit face. Okay, now enclose this. What we're going to do is make a blueprint actor light. Um, for day night cycle oops night okay or light for day night cycle so we're going to open this up and we're going to add a static mesh and our static mesh is going to be light no cord separated face so we can just select it and then push this button that's going to select whatever here whatever I have selected <coughs> alright so there we go we got this uh, the next thing we want to add is going to be the off face. So we'll just go ahead and do uh, this one. If we select it, then come over here and boom, it's propagated. It's in there. Okay. And so what we can do now is we're going to leave this one correct. And then we're going to add one more, and we're going to go, this is the lit face. And we're going to go here and add the lit face. So there's the body, lit not lit. We take the lit face. See if we go lit and we um, go uh, let's go viz not lit. We uncheck that then it becomes lit. So this is what we're going to be triggering is our visibility um, right there.
So here's the light we're going to use for our day-night cycle <coughs> as lighting that adjusts. We need to fix that material right there too. Um, <coughs> but anyways, here is our light for lighting that's going to adjust. God damn it, motherfucker. Alright, so not lit face and lit face. This one is not visible. Lit face. Untick that. So we're going to take and untick our lit face. Alright. We're going to compile. And go to event graph. We're going to go on event begin play. Because as soon as the level begins, we're going to want it to be timed to our... Um, day night cycle so what we're going to do is go delay um, because we don't want the light to just swap right out the gate and what I want to do is I want to match this time cycle here and this is grouped let's ungroup that we want to go to this because I've already done it and check how long I wait 14 seconds 14 seconds so we're going to want to go 14 seconds once it's completed we want to toggle visibility we'll go both we don't want static mesh we want lit face and not let face so what that means is because lit face is invisible at the moment and not lit face is visible it's going to swap these so it's going to make this invisible and this visible so then we're going to have that in 14 seconds okay so then what we're going to want to do is still look at this because this is timed on the same thing. So we got 26 seconds toggle visibility. So what we could do, we can just do this. Control C and Control V. So we now have stayed off, turned on. We want it to stay on for 26 seconds then we want it to see control V we want it to toggle visibility again <clears throat> so comes on after 14 seconds so it turns the lit face on unlit face off keeps it on for 26 seconds then toggles visibility and turns the lit face off and the not lit face back on and delays uh, to the last 20 seconds of that time frame. So my day night cycle is a minute, so 60 seconds. So we have 14 plus the 26 plus the 20 equals 60 seconds. That means that it's going to stay exactly in the same spot every single time and it's not going to uh, navigate away from that time frame. So then what we need to do is take our delay and hook it back up to the front and that's going to create a cycle okay and now we can take our light here oh wait we do need to do one more thing we need to add a light so for this light we're going to do it's showing movable for some reason. I don't really know why I'd want to do that. Um, I can't, well, it has to be movable. I can't do static um, because then it can't bake. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to default scene root and we're going to add a light. Now, we're going to do a point light and we're going to go back to viewport. And here's our point light. We're going to want it 
up here. Okay, and we'll go ahead and pull it out. We're going to have to adjust that light, but I'm not sure exactly how until we see it in its environment. So what we're going to need to do is then go back here, take this point light, and do the same thing. We're going to put it right here, and another point light right here, and we're going to need to uncheck its visibility. So now it will turn off and on in accordance to the light face that we're swapping, essentially. So this is what you do when making a game, is uh, um, instead of functionality, I mean you could functionally turn on the, the material, but in this situation we're going to swap the face with a different material. Uh, so two faces, different materials, and we're just going to swap them. Alright, so what we're going to do is uh, we'll just push this down and what we're going to do for the fun of it is right now we're at noon this is my dead time here so we're going to take this we're going to take all these off I don't even need this one probably we'll decide that shortly okay and what we'll do is mess with it on this wall first like so I want to rotate it eighty and I'm push it out. What we're gonna do is just see how this looks. Let's change this so I can make sure I'm putting it in the middle I can't seem to grab it, there we go in the middle gee that's good enough
All right, well, uh, the battery's died. So, we're here. I don't think you missed anything. Uh, we've replaced some of them. I don't think it was off for very long. Anyways, um, let me take this one and rotate it. And push this in till it just hits. Delete that one and move it over to there. And I think this should be the last one we got to do. I don't think we can see that one. Move this over. Too much. There we go. And we can bring this down. And actually, I just can go further down. I can delete it. Just move it over. There. No, not centered. That's better. She still not centered. Still to the left a little bit. Still to the left a little bit, which is okay because we're still off the wall. That looks like about right there. Okay, that's pretty much centered over the door. That was good. All right. So now, when we play, we don't have unnatural light lit for no apparent reason. Kicked on. And the sun comes up. All right, we're gonna, uh, yeah. Uh, I hope that was awesome. Until next time, peace. Um, Snitches Prison Simulator Vlog out. I'm your host, Justin Arnold, and thanks for coming, and bye. I am sweating.